So folks, uh, we are still here at the grounds of the Capitol building. We now join, I will now join my colleague, Emmanuel colleagues, Emmanuel T colleagues, who will give us updates about happenings here today. Welcome to the media, Emmanuel. Thank you, and thank you to our wonderful people following in and our television. Uh, today, we're here at the grounds of the Capitol, where there seems to be a tension mountain. As you may be aware, we've been reporting about four. Uh, to get to the proper review. So today is another session day, and there are two blocks in the building. You have the pro speaker supporters, and that of the majority block calling themselves the majority block of the House of Representatives. But as we currently, what you see was a bit of contention between the state security and that of uh, the legislative security because according to the state security, you know, has come to, to effectuate some, some level of calls here to regulate the movement here. And that was resisted by the House Committee Chair on Rules of the Administration, Representative Marvin Cole, who had said that that was, that was not necessary because they have uh, people who already deployed here to do the people's job. And so, just to take it through currently as we speak, the Joint Chamber, where the majority of block had uh, their uh, session the last time, has been locked. And even though they are not present, they stay at their local hotel, but there will be another contention because the fact that that place is locked, it means that they will be one another. No, to get house. So that's where we are this morning, and we, we, we are getting information that if the deputy speaker of the Republic of Liberia, a former father, refuses to you know, go to the majority block, there will be some decisions taken. And that decision will be premised on Rule 10 that talks about revoke you know, for the election of a speaker pro temple. And the speaker pro tempo will now preside to take the body to election for the election of a new speaker. So it's a whole long battle, and the speaker has always affirmed that he's not going to bow down to the ongoing pressure to get him out. He said there should be legal processes, and of course, yes, uh, there should be due process because the fact that you have accused the speaker of multiple issues the issue of, uh, the issue of corruption, the issue of conflict of interest. Uh, the issue of, of uh, taking unilateral decisions without meeting the, the plenary of the House of Representatives. So they are talking a lot of other different issues. But we're here to give you all what's happening today. And we want you to keep following because there are a lot happening here today at the grounds of the Capitol. Just a quick question. Are you been covering the legislature for quite a while now? Uh, so if issue of date happens, what do you think will be the next thing? Yes, yeah, so, uh, yes. Two things happening right now. Uh, the, the House of the Majority Block needs at least 49 members of the House 
uh, to, to get them to, 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 to effectuate their action. Again, the speaker I mean, needs about 37 to get a quorum. But just on Tuesday, they just take the, 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 the listeners back. On Tuesday, the, the speaker did not get a quorum. So he was prepared on, a, on Article 33 to adjourn because he did not get the required number you know, to, get a, to get a quorum. On the other side, the lawmakers were 42. And so they have quorum. But again, they need about 49 if they are intentional about moving the speaker. So right now, everybody is stacking in the school because nobody wants to lose any member to another group. So that's why the lawmakers on the other end, you know, they are, they are collaborating as a team, as a team of, 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 of lawmakers. Because um, someone, one of them and I were talking and saying, even if you were to make a telephone call and everybody, all your friends will be behind you because they don't want any deflection. They don't want anybody, you know, to, 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 to go to the other side. So it's a tense fight and we're hoping for the very best for the country. But the speaker has mentioned that he will always reside. And again, just on, on Sunday during the Mandela Blast press conference, they were very emphatic that they are never going to sit on the speaker of Kofa's gavel. So it tells you that this is a long fight and this is happening just on the eve of the budget submission. Remember, as the PFN in law 2010 talks about every 31st of October, the budget should be submitted by the executive. So now, we, today is August, uh, 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 October 24th. We have a one week for the submission of the budget. And the budget will not be submitted in the, in the midst of the divided house because you need a city you know, legislature to discuss the component of the budget. So, too many things are interplaying, but again, we are hoping for the very best. Because this is not an easy fight because you need to have people the night to get the speaker removed. If you don't have that required number, the speaker will continue to be the speaker and the point will be on the first stage. Thank you so kindly. Thank you. So, that was the voice of uh, Emmanuel T. Kali. Who had a line on issue here as it relates to the lower house. We now draw you to, I think we we announcing other lawmakers just arrived to let us go there and you know just drink. Thank you. Hi, so we what we hope I don't think that any of you guys can see it. Uh, so we will now take a break and uh, we'll join you later. So to have a safe and pleasant, pleasant time. My name is Yasin Suba and we are here to bring you all the happening so we'll take a short break.